Thank you, Madam Commissioner. I would like to come back to the situation regarding Julian Assange. You talked about journalists. This Parliamentary Assembly has called on two occasions for his immediate release. In your capacity as Commissioner, you did send a letter to Priti Patel some time ago. Thank you for that. On the 20th and 21st of February, there will be another court case in the UK, probably the last one. And for the last six years, Julian Assange has been in solitary confinement in a six square metre cell in Belmarsh Prison in London. So what can we do to protect Julian Assange since extradition really does seem to be coming uh, a real, a real like, likelihood? As you know, we had numerous discussions, uh, not just two of us, but uh, several other uh, colleagues in relation to this um, uh, case. Um, I was very clear, as you rightly stated, in relation to this, that Julian Assange should not be extradited. I was public on this, uh, also with my uh, letter and uh, to the UK authorities. Uh, it was May 22 to the Home Secretary, um, you already mentioned, and then also public statement, and also during my visit to United uh, uh, Kingdom. I am very much aware of uh, the current situation. My team and myself are following closely. We know about the hearing that is set for 2021 um, February. Um, but in relation to this, I think would be um, prejudging uh, to say anything uh, apart from what I already stated in relation to this case um, and the fact that he should not be extradited. But you know, as long as I'm in the office, I will continue following the case. And when it comes to the work and uh, your question on what can be done, I think the, the Parliamentary Assembly and several um, um, colleagues are already uh, doing quite a lot. Uh, we are also in touch with many NGOs that are closely following the trials um, and also uh, some of them visiting uh, Mr. Assange in prison.